Hi, this is Randy Rice of Rice Consulting Services, and in this short video, I'm going to show you some testing that my son Rory and I did on a weather app from a local television station during the most recent round of tornadoes, May 31st of 2013. Now, as the uh, slide says there, we don't want to sound overly dramatic, but please don't do this at home. Uh, there were uh, experienced storm chasers, chasers killed and injured uh, in doing this, and we were not chasing the storm. We were uh, actually evacuating uh, from the path of the storm. Uh, so we we were more or less doing this out of just opportunity because we were using the weather app to help us find our best way out of the path of the tornadoes. So here you see the radar uh, history from the National Weather Service. The red arrow shows where uh, we were evacuating from and basically we went to the south and you'll notice just below that arrow there's the river. So there's only two ways across the river. One is, well actually both are interstate uh, highway bridges and they were both completely congested uh, while we were trying to get there. So the, the main thing, like I said, we, we were just trying to determine if this application gave us enough uh, ability to navigate and to see kind of what was going on with the weather. Here's Rory testing the tornado app. You can't really zoom in, so it's not really that good. There's no circulation. It just shows you where the area is. Just to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at. St. Mary's U.S. Grant, uh, all the way down, it's heading po possibly for Crossroads Mall. Do we have Chase Thomason, by the way? Um, it, let's, let, we'll try to endeavor to get Chase Thomason here. Uh, he's uh, in South Oklahoma City. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, you really can't see radar. I know, you can just see the the counties that it's in. Yeah. It doesn't really help us in a situation like this. They need to animate it up. That's over the whole state, though. Yeah. So we got the the satellite, or that satellite radar. In fact, on the highway, one of the highways there, 81, where Alonzo Storm Chasers were, there were flipped cars. We were told the Weather Channel was involved in some of that wreckage. Uh, Emily Sutton checking all of that for us, but it's been quite an evening once again. Emily, way too close for comfort on that. So once again, uh, as we were testing this, it was not really a, a planned test. It was more of an opportunity that we had because we were evacuating anyway. Uh, we were really in a real world situation where we were trying to see uh, the capabilities of the application and we found that uh, because the radar wasn't fully animated uh, it would refresh but you would have to have like a 60 second refresh for this to really uh, be meaningful plus there's the the level of detail you really need uh, almost down to the street level detail and there's one other issue that uh, we hadn't thought about but actually uh, was a big one that you're relying on 3G coverage to get any kind of decent uh, performance on this and during a tornado uh, you have cell towers that go down everyone gets on their phone uh, the, the 3G performance just becomes terrible so if you were at home wanting to know when the war where the warnings were and what the radar was looking like and you weren't trying to evacuate uh, this would probably be a, a fairly decent application that we tested. Now I'm not mentioning it by name because that's not what we set out to do. I'm just showing you an example of kind of the real world test here. Once again, don't do this in real life. There were people killed, professional university level storm chasers unfortunately died in, in this tornado. Uh, one of the storm chasers from the Weather Channel was seriously injured when their vehicle um, got hit by the tornado. And so anyway, uh, just kind of an example uh, that I thought it would be kind of interesting to, to show folks uh, a real real world case study from a tornado alley here in Oklahoma. Uh, this is Randy Rice and uh, riceconsulting.com. If you have any other questions, need any more information about mobile testing, uh, come see us at riceconsulting.com.